I've had the R8 for about a year now, one year in February last month, so I thought it might be a good time to talk about how much I actually pay for the R8 monthly and we'll add it up and work out how much I actually pay a year. So if you guys are new to the channel, this is my 2014 Audi R8 V8 S-Tronic. I've dreamt of this car for as long as I can remember. And to be honest with you, I never thought I'd be able to own one, let alone have it for a year. This is my absolute dream car. Having it right in front of me on my drive just does not feel real at all. So moving on, I just actually want to share with you guys how much I actually pay for the Audi R8. Just to make it easier for you guys, I've got my little board here and we'll put a little title of Audi R8 running costs. I should probably write bigger. So let's start things off with the monthly finance. I've got the car on PCP, and if you've got your cars on PCP, you'll have to pay that every month. You can't take a break from that. So I have the car on a 48 month contract and I pay 760 pounds and 38 pence a month. And that works out to 9,124 and 56 pence a year. That's a lot. Next is my insurance. I've had my license since I was about 20 years old, but I was never a named driver until I got my first car at the age of 25, which was the A35 AMG. I am now 28 years old and I pay 126 pounds and four pence a month. And that works out to 1,512 and 88 pence. That's a lot. How much do you pay for your insurance? Let me know in the comments below. Now, the road tax. If you are from America and you are watching this, you should be grateful that you don't have to pay this. For my road tax, I pay 55 pounds and 13 pence a month. And that works out to 661 pounds and 56 pence. That's a lot. If you are from the UK, let me know in the comments below how much you pay for road tax every month. Now, the fuel costs. It's no surprise that a V8 is definitely not fuel efficient at all. If you get in this car and you're worried about how much the fuel costs, avoid this at all costs. So this is just gonna be an approximation cost via a mathematical calculation. So I got the car with 17,897 miles and it now has 21,862,000 miles. So that means we did 3,965,000 miles. I've just had a quick look 
and I average 25 miles per gallon. So if I divide 3,965 by 25 miles per gallon, that is 158.6 gallons. And if we then multiply that by 4.546, and that would then convert it into liters, that would then give us 720.1 liters. If we then multiply that by how much V power costs, that is pretty much all I've been putting in this car. V power, Shell V power the whole time. And at the moment it is probably one pound 70. A year ago, the fuel was a little bit more expensive, but we'll go with one pound 70 per liter. That would then give us 1,225 pounds and 69 pence. That is, how much I spent on fuel in the whole year. That is a ballpark figure as well. It's probably more expensive than that. And that works out too, if we divide the yearly cost by 12, that works out to 102 pounds and 14 pence a month. That's a lot. Now, there would also be the servicing cost of the car, but I haven't had the car serviced as of yet, so I'm not gonna include servicing costs. I will probably cover that on the later videos. Let's just do a quick total on how much I've actually spent the whole year. So every month I pay 1,043 pounds and 69 pence. And every year I pay 12,524 and 69 pence. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed, drop a like and drop a comment down below. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.